It's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime, it's playtime with the sleepy boys. Hey, buddy, kick off your toenails and take your socks. <laughs> Why are you kicking your toenails off before the socks are off? I just imagine the socks being crusty and just covered in blood. Oh, God, that sounds awful. <laughs> um, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. That was, that was fucking horrible. That's for the, fucking horrible. That'll, that'll make the cut for sure. That has to. You need to flag that to make sure that makes it somewhere. How the fuck do you think I'm going to flag this, dude? I just... Cut out the stuff I don't use. I don't know. Just put a little sticky note with a bloody toenail next to it. Oh, Lord. Welcome, guys, to Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. Uh, you know me. I'm, I'm Mark. I'm the, I'm the fat one. That's irritating. You're not fat and irritating. But I am fat, and that's okay. <laughs> and I am, as always, Brandon. All right, so I'm dog sitting right now, and this dog is doing some weird shit. I mean, like doing weird shit or having weird shit because uh, I'll have to just. Ah, uh, she stopped. Like as soon as I grab my phone to snap a picture, of course the bitch stops. But if I see it and I can get my phone out in time, I will snap a picture of the bitch and share it with everyone on social media. Perfect. At SR Sleepy Boys. Hey, look at that. The plug was at the beginning instead of the end. Because we always remember to put a plug somewhere in the show, right? I mean, that is that is one of the... I can't speak. That is one of the things you need to do. I think it was the, the word is a pinnacle. Pinnacle. No. I don't like... <laughs> I don't think that either of those were the right context I used. No. Any hooser. So, Brandon. The last time anyone ever used the term pinnacle and, you know in the right terminology, I think was President Trump when he was peeing on that girl. Now don't let this what the fuck? Oh, yeah, those leaked videos that supposedly exist. Was he, oh my God. No, I don't want to, I don't want to know about those. I don't, I don't want to know that you just told me about those videos. I'm sorry. But fuck. Or so, at least there's audio recording of him asking for it. I don't know which, which was which. It was a while oh. ago and people seem to have forgotten about it. Oh, you want me to pee on you? That was a terrible Donald Trump impression. It sounded like John McCain asking for someone to... You know, no, but R.I.P. John McCain. He was a war hero. He was a war hero. But he's dead now. He did so, a lot of questionable things, but then towards the end of his life did some not questionable things. I feel like that's just in general in life. Yeah. Yeah. Or hey, you just he go... went out on a good note. Or, or you go the complete opposite way, do nothing questionable your whole life, and then just like at the end of your life, just start fucking going crazy. Yeah, I actually have my back in my setup. Well, I'm in an unfamiliar place doing this, so. Well, now we've just traded places, we, but, uh, you know. I mean, I have all of my recording equipment. Place. So. Oh, well, I wasn't. I was just recording the audio off my tablet in my parents' movie room. See, if you listen closely, yeah, can you hear this? No, you can't hear it, can you? I like that it says Brandon, not Jasmine. Um, well, every time you lo every lo time you log in, it says Jasmine's. Interesting, Brandon. Yes, Mark. Brandon, ask me what I had for dinner last night. What did you have for dinner last night? Well, let me tell you who makes a terrible chicken sandwich. Oh. So, man, if there's one thing in this world I can't stand, it's a terrible chicken sandwich. How dude, do you mess that up? I don't fucking know, but let me tell you. Let me tell you. So I know we've already ripped on Walmart big time before. I was in a hurry. I'm dog sitting right now. I didn't have a whole lot of time to go grab a nice fancy dinner like I would like to. Or so I ran to Walmart and I was like, you know what? I'll give like like their hot their hot stuff is usually like pretty decent, right? I will say right now that when I'm in a pinch for dinner, I've never once thought, let me run to Walmart. It's the closest thing. All right, fair enough. So I was – and usually they're hot stuff. Like they usually have like hot wings or something like that, and they're all good, right? But like sure. I've – I got this fucking sandwich, and it felt like I was biting into raw chicken. Oh, 
Oh my god! Like you know that texture, like that that feeling when you like cut into raw chicken and it kind of like, kind of like half crunches while you're cutting it. Yeah, there's that little bit of a grit to yeah, it. Almost. That's, yes. Now imagine that, but in your mouth. Oh no! I don't want. Mm, 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 yeah, mm. that was what I was having for dinner. So I there's got about nothing worse. I've never bit into an undercooked chicken before, but I can only imagine your body's immediate, like, oh, no. (laughs) Here's the thing. I was so hungry that I didn't notice it the first few times I was biting it. How didn't you notice it? Oh, I'm just, you know me. I'm a fast eater. Look, dude, I know you're a fast eater, but we have triggers in our bodies that when something like that happens, there's an immediate – like imagine like a traffic cop jumping out into the middle of the street right, with a stop sign. You know I don't have a gag reflex. I know you know this. I mean mm, – Brandon. If there was a – like you know those Maury memes where they're like, you said you didn't have a gag reflex. Well, yeah. the lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh, I'm a great liar, though. That's the thing. Um, I've seen your gag reflex, and it is awful. What do you mean? It's one. Of, it's like if you could watch a bear painfully throw up. I'm still not following what you're trying to say here. I'm trying to say that you have a gag reflex, and it's very unsettling to see you throw, like almost throw up. I don't remember. I can't remember the last time I threw up. Um, um, I can tell you it involved mustard and mayo. Oh, my God. And that's a fed like a baby. That's a story for another time, and I'm going to put that on the list of things to do right now. <laughs> so y'all are in for a real treat. In a, that's in about, a teaser. If that's a was huge one. teaser. So anyway, I was at Walmart getting these horrible chicken sandwiches. And while I was there, Brandon, if you know, you know me to be a collector of certain things. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of things that I collect? Um, comics. Okay, what's the second thing? Pokemon. Okay, what's the third thing, Brandon? Harley. Fucking work with me here, Brandon. What's the fourth thing? My Little Pony. Fuck you. That's been, it's been a long time since that happened. <laughs> uh, Power Rangers. Oh, you're getting. You're not getting anywhere. Uh, so uh, I, I collect socks, like fun, exciting socks. All right. I knew you had a decent assortment. I didn't know you were working on a collection. Oh, Brandon. Here's the thing: is I don't own a single pair of like boring socks like the only I've got, boring socks that i own are like my plain black ones that i wear because they, like they're the the ankle socks that are like the the hideaway socks that you wear when you're like wearing toms or the vans oh see i don't give a fuck if i'm wearing my vans or my my flats i still right, wear I the, know. the geeky me, shit i, I know <clears throat> so anyway so i was at walmart and there were there was like a huge box of like five dollar packages of socks they were all like nerdy, geeky shit. Um, all right. So I bought twenty-four pairs of socks. You, wait, how many of these sets did you buy? Uh, well, I bought th- four sets. Five, five. Um, carry the one. I'm bad at math. Uh, yeah, twenty-four pairs of socks divided. I got four pairs of four sets of socks. Wow. And here's the thing: is I love them. I'm gonna show them to you. All right, we got Fire Flower Mario. Okay, that's pretty dope. Uh, let me see. I'm going to get through the Nintendo ones because I want to show you all the, all of the like special ones together. Uh, we've got the uh, Underground Toidle. Oh, okay. So, you know, it's... I'm glad you clarified for everybody. Uh, we've got American Mario, red, white, and blue. Okay. Uh, we have the the Paracoopas from the first series uh, uh, game. Yeah. We got OG Bowser. Nice. And of course we got Mario with his magic penis tips, mushrooms. You mean, I mean, Mario mushrooms. Mario Bros. Mario Mario. All right. Then another set that I got was Spider-Man themed. Uh, so you got the uh, the fun webs. Nice. You've got the, uh, this one feels more like Halloween spiders, but like still spiders and webs. Okay. And then you got the, uh, the good old fashioned gray on black, all of them. All right. Then we got, these ones aren't so much geeky as they are just fun socks. Like I said, 
Uh, so you've got dog bones or, oh. or docking penises, depending on how you look at it. I mean, uh, you've I don't got, know why they put the amount of detail into those that they did in they the shadows really did. where they did. They really did. Uh, then you got uh, fire hydrants. Okay. Wow, that's weird how like straight up and down they disappear, but that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you got a Is it blue shape. or is it green? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that's cute. I know. I love that one. All right. And then this last set was uh, from uh, Parks and Rec. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. No, no, no. So the first thing that you need to know is I went out and I treat myself. I was about to say, if there's not a treat yourself, uh, then you're very upset. Of course, you've got the Parks and Rec logo. Perfect. Well, we've got uh, Johnny Karate. Johnny Karate! In all of his glory. That's great. And then these last three are all super, or yeah. the last few are Excuse cool. Me. Uh, vote for Nope. Th that's dope. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the last two are the best. The last two I'm really excited about. You've got, of course, Mouse Rat. Yes, that's a must. And, if and the, little pa if the last pair is not Little Sebastian. <laughs> no, it's better. Ron Swanson, Woman of the Year. Oh, my Lord. Yep. It's awesome. They went with a deep cut for that. They did. Also, I don't have my mouse, and I'm really pissed off about it. I will say having my... that I, I love having my little mouse. My little I need to get a mouse pad, because you can hear it kind of... You know. Uh, it's not that bad. Um, yeah, so anyway, so Brandon, there's something I've been wanting to, to talk about on the show. All right, cool. Hit me, baby. So um, imagine this. Okay, I'm going to lay out a picture for you, okay? All right. You're at a party, and this party is fucking lit. Like, I'm talking, they're serving the nectar of the gods, and you're eating fucking ambrosia, right? W w okay. Like, I, I, like, it's a good fucking party, right? All right. And you look out over the over the crowd of people, and you see this bootylicious chick just going crazy. Bootylicious. Bootylicious. She got All a right. she got a badonk, we'll say. Okay. And uh, you hit your bro, and you're like, "Hey, bro." I just have to let you know that I I know it's not what you said, but you said booty. I said booty. You know, you said ooty. I said booty. I heard Udi. I'm very soft-spoken with my bees, okay? Yes, apparently. Except apparently. when it comes to me. Apparently. Randon, um, let's do this. But all I can think of is Udi from Garfield with, like, a badonk donk. Well, now I have to draw that. <laughs> Got to write that one down to remember that. Anyway. Yep. So, you, okay, well, okay, so get rid of the booty. We'll just say, like, a, the, like a really hot chick, right? You're dancing, right. dancing up, and you, you hit your bro, and you're like, hey, man. Check out that hot babe. And he's like, dude, low key, I totally hit that. And you're like, dude, low key, I've already hit that. And he's like, dude, that's our sister. And you're like, I know Poseidon, but I'm Zeus. I do whatever the fuck I want. I had a feeling this is where you were going. Here's the thing is I'm kind of hella jealous. Not, and I clarify, not, not the incest part. I'm, I'm jealous of Zeus because like that man, that man had it all over all over fucking greece you know i'm not you could say that I, I did say that also you should be careful about saying you're jealous of zeus because he was not a good person yeah no you're right you're right he was a fucking horrible person but like can we appreciate that how fucking popular hercules was as a film right uh the disney film of course the disney film i just wanted to clarify yeah but let's talk about some really critical like missteps that that was taken from the original story right so first uh, of all, as opposed the original story slash in comparison to the adaptation that disney did correct yes okay so first and foremost uh hercules wasn't zeus's kid like at all like there was no relation between him and zeus other than his mother was hera or hera was the one that created him right uh, yes, I think. I, it has been a long time since I have gotten into Greek mythology. But you, you know me. But I'm, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go along with you on this because I feel like you've done a little bit of reading on this. Not recently, no. And you're springing this on me very last minute. That's what I do. Any hooser. So, uh, yeah, so hey, there's no relation to, uh, to 
fucking Zeus at all. Uh, they completely gloss over the fact that Zeus and Hera are brother and sister. Yes. Like, I feel like that should have been, like, part, like, a major part of Act 1 is just, like, you know, the the birth of Her- Hercules. Since they went the way they went with Her- Hercules being born, just like, I'm so proud of you, Hera. You're the sexiest sister a man could ask for. And just gives her a little butt pat. But okay. because he's but he, because he's so strong, he ends up breaking her hip because he's Zeus. Um, and also, he doesn't care. Also, he doesn't care, and he's like, "All right, you 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 suckle that little baby on your teeth. I'm gonna go bang a dolphin." Hold on. All right. So I don't mean. Wait. What? Oh yeah, Zeus. No, no, no. Sorry, Zeus turned into a dolphin to bang a chick. I remember or something. that. Okay. Something like that. That, yeah. that sounds right. So I looked it up because I wanted to at least be somewhat knowledgeable about Hercules and where we're going with this so I can at least maybe add in a little bits of things. Hey, man, you – yeah. Yeah. So Hercules was the son of Zeus. Was he? Yes. Oh. Um, well, I guess I'm the asshole then. Yeah. Well, yes. Continue.